Welcome back everyone and happy Tuesday. Our countdown to kickoff continues as we stop in with Catlin French and the Biloxi Indians tonight. After a playoff run last year, the Indians are hoping to build on the success of 2022 as they start their first year in the new 7A. Our Matt DiGregorio has more. Biloxi! The Biloxi Indians opened many people's eyes in 2022. The team had a tremendous 5-2 district record and at one point won 7 out of 8 games. Last season's success set up a difficult road for the 2023 team, something six-year head coach Catlin French believes will help his side get better each week. You know, I feel like this is going to be a team that gets better each and every week. We have a very tough non-division schedule, the toughest non-division we've ever had here. I think that's a testament to the, to the recent history of you know, the last few years. We've gotten a lot better. Uh, there's been some dark years here in the, in, the, in, the, in the past, you know, where we didn't have a lot, of, a lot of consistency, and we're just trying to build that, a consistent, relative program. Back then, like, we, we weren't winning like that, so teams wanted to play us and stuff, but now teams probably don't want to play us, stuff, so we got a tougher schedule. Despite Biloxi bringing back their starting quarterback in an experienced receiving core, the team is younger than most, especially in the trenches. Every single one of our offensive linemen are new, pretty much. Uh, we, we, we lost all five starters last year, so we're very young there. I think we only have one senior on our offensive line. Uh, I think we only have one senior on our defensive line, and that's from our ones and our twos. Pretty young in the secondary as well, so overall a young team. I think we only returned three or four starters on each side of the ball. The message for 2023 is simple. Work hard and take it one day at a time. I feel like we just need to um, communicate and work hard, like work really hard, because we, we lost a lot of seniors in that defense group, so I feel like we just got to work hard and then we'll be straight. All I can do right now is take it one day at a time, practice one practice at a time and one game at a time, and uh, I work harder than ever right now. That's all I can do. The group of seniors entering their final season of high school football have experienced the highs and lows of what the sport has to offer. With one last ride on the horizon, the group is looking to make lasting memories as they give it everything they've got. So oh, it's going to be a lot. I've had a lot of good memories at Biloxi. I also had some bad memories, but we're just going to go out there and give it all every play, every down, every day. I'm taking in everything, really, because it's my last year, last high school football season, so I'm just taking in everything. The memories of my, all my friends, mainly, and uh, joy, the joy of high school football is, is amazing. Biloxi will open up the season with the Shrimp Bowl, and they're taking on Stone this year.